Dark eight, Princess, seven, Annika Yankas, this is three pound robot. Five, four, Vespula three, from uh, Team two, Ribot. One. Fight, robots, fight. Wow. Ooh. You can hear that drum spinning up on Vespula. Dark Already Princess see- is an undercutter spinner. Part of that wheel from Vespula got torn out from underneath. You see it kind of bobbling around now on one side. Now you see Dark Princess flying around the arena here. Uh, That is something that's pretty typical with this design. You'll see they're bouncing all over the place, but the reliability of this build will really show through. They're going to be able to bounce all around this box and come out and deliver even more hits. Now, uh, one of the things to watch for with Dragon Princess today is improved weapon reliability. I talked to Dominic Van Kaskis and he said that uh, for this competition, he put in a slip drive for that, that weapon, so it should be running the full three minutes. Now, you can see that, you know, it spins down, but it's able to spin right back up. Vespula is stuck up on the rail. Let's see. There we go. Vespula got its one unstick from Ooh, Bert the Brett, or Bert the Brick. If Vespula gets stuck up against the wall again, they are uh, on their own as far as getting down. Dark Princess, uh, just as deadly as an overcutter versus an undercutter configuration. Absolutely, but the undercutter is definitely the preferred configuration. That way they're able to take out the tires of their opponents. And that gyro force is just a little bit more contained when it's underneath. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit more controllable. Ooh. Vespula, just a very well-driven, very athletic bot. You can just see the force of that weapon as it clears out all that debris from around it like a, like a Huey taking off. <laughs> These two bots very well suited to go up against each other. This is an explosive match that we've seen so far. Vespula is not going to let that damaged wheel slow them down at all. They're certainly coming back in this fight. Yeah. 45 seconds left on the clock. Are we going to have our first judge's decision? It'd be nice if they actually put in some work today, you know? Matt Spurk just sitting around eating all the Christmas cookies that his family's (laughs) making. 30 seconds left on the clock. Dragon Prince with Dark Princess kind of bouncing around here inside of the box. You've got to wonder if this is a drive issue or if it's a weapon issue. Oh Ten my. seconds left on the clock. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of this fight. Please turn off your weapons and drive to the door. This one will go to the judges. Wow, this is going to be an interesting one. Yeah, I'm not sure how I would score this one. So uh, I'm excited to see what our judges come up with. We've got a new format for judging here today. Um, So if you've watched previous Norwalk Havoc uh, um, qualifiers, uh, new today, the judges are going to be inputting their scores, and uh, we're going to display all of the scores at the same time. That's right. So uh, we will see a winner here shortly, and then we will deliberate. Hey, judge friends. We have uh, judging across three criteria, damage, aggression, and control. The scores are starting to come in. Oh my gosh, it's split here. Aggression, okay. It looks like... Wow. It looks like Vespula may have taken it. All right. Wow. Yep. Unanimous. Unanimous judge's decision for Vespula. I would love to go to Matt Spurk. Matt, you know, it's your uh, first time judging here at Norwalk Havoc. Uh, your thoughts on that fight? 